Yo, what's up, Manip Gang? Welcome to another video. And today I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my Funk Friday settings. Yeah, I have made a video about it uh, already, but since the last video, I got a bunch of new people on the channel, you know, and they keep asking my settings. So I'm gonna, you know, make this video for the, those people that are new on the channel and I wants to know the entire thing, you know. And I, I will also try to help you guys to improve the performance of the game, you know. So yeah, let's start and the first thing we're gonna do is pretty much we're gonna unlock some power on the PC with a power plan. So we're gonna hit the start button and we're gonna type CMD and we're gonna find here command prompt and you have to right click and run as admin. Yep, and here you have to paste this code right here. I'm gonna, you know, share with you guys this code on the description. So you, you just, you know, paste it here and enter. What it does, it, it unlocks the power plan called Ultimate Performance because, okay, now press Windows R and then you're going to get this, you know, run thing and you have to type control here, control. Now search for um, power options and here on power options, you guys probably have only balance or power saver, you know. And after placing that code right here, you're gonna have this one, Youth Made Performance. Like, I'm using Holy because I named this Holy, but it's pretty much Youth Made Performance, you know? So, what you have to do here is pretty much you just have to click on Youth Made Performance, you know? And yeah, you're good to go. It's gonna help you PC, like, it's gonna, you know, increase the FPS because it's gonna use their resources of your PC, like, 100%. And it, it's supposed to improve, you know? So, yeah, that's pretty much the first thing you have to do. The next one is running Roblox in a low resolution. Okay, right here, we're gonna go and press Windows plus R again. And here on the on this thing, you have to type percentage app data, percentage. Awesome. We're gonna go, oh, we're gonna get this location right here, roaming. You have to click on app data, now local. And then you have to search for Roblox. Okay, here Roblox. And then you go on versions and click on date modified and look for the, you know, the last one that was created. For me, it's this one. So I click here and there's this folder with all those things. And there's here Roblox player beta. That's the one we're looking for. Right click properties and here on compel compatibility. We have to check this one run in six, 640 by 480 like that's the lowest resolution on the PC, you know, and apply an OK. And now I'm going to open Roblox to you show how it's going to look like. A bit. Yeah, I'm going to open it and my resolution is going to change. It's going to look like super everything is going to look super big. that's showing up i think it's showing up at 640 by 480 and that's pretty much how you know the roblox looks like on 640 by 480 and this option this thing is supposed to help you with fps as well okay so you upc is gonna run on this low resolution when you have the roblox open you know once you close the game boom you're gonna go back to the normal resolution I'll be back. So yeah, try it out. Try this option. It might help you with your FPS, you know. I don't use it because I don't really need it, you know. But I recommend testing it and see if, you know, it improves your FPS. So, okay. For the next, for the next step, I don't have a uh, Intel HD graphics, but I'm gonna share a link in the description that it's gonna help you set up everything for maximum performance, you know? Like, I only have NVIDIA and I'm gonna assume you guys have Intel HD graphics. So, I cannot demonstrate this, but I will share the link in the description and it's pretty much, you know, what is on that website. Now we have to jump into Funky Friday. Okay, now I'm here on, you know, Funky Friday, Roblox. And the first thing you need to do is, uh, you have to press S, goes to settings. And here on graphics quality, you you just use like, you know, one, like the lowest possible. Because if you use something like that, it's going to lag your game a lot. It's going to decrease your FPS. So you want to 
to have it on one bar and it's the maximum you can do here to get some good fps okay very good now we have on the settings let's go on the settings and pretty much you have to do what i'm gonna do here hide lobby um enabled hide map enabled if you want more fps you can enable this one as well i suggest you enable this but i don't use it you know but i suggest you using this it, it helps a lot and on those toggle options you have to pretty much disable those you know and here on toggle bot play if you want to play against a bot you enable if you don't disable okay uh instant animation snapping uh i don't think it affects the fps so it's up to you those two options right here and now we go down oh info bar i suggest you having this okay so you can see the accuracy misses and all those stuff you know okay good uh hide spectators enable this okay and hide seated uh, i think seated players you have to enable those two ones and disable this one note effect because whenever you hit a note it's gonna splash it's gonna give a splash animation and you don't want it okay so pretty much disable this option on scroll underlay transparency you set to zero so it's not gonna be transparent and it's gonna help you read better the notes and the gameplay overall you know toggle go stepping keep this enabled so you can spend like you know when you don't have notes it's it's very useful so you don't you're not gonna get silly misses you know middle scroll personal preference i usually i i usually have it on but it's up to you if you want it or not it's up to you health bar no we don't use it down scroll personal preference if you play up scroll don't don't enable this you know just stick to up scroll error replication and error style replication i suggest you having this off if you want performance but if you want to look at you know the open open it settings like how they play with uh, the errors and colors you, ha you can have this enabled okay toggle hit accuracy indicators i enable this colored hit accuracy indicators is enabled as well and uh, note hit time enabled especially if you make videos to youtube you know it helps you you know in case someone calls you're hacking you can prove you know that you're not hacking by having this on you said note sound off please don't use this and those three options uh, i mean those two options here off you don't want to fade or go and yeah that's pretty much it here now we're gonna jump into the you know the skin pretty much i have my skin set to um circles i always play with circles that's my favorite one and the color is white the key binds i'm using right now is z x k and some column but it, 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 it it's also l it's l you know it's z x k l that's what i'm using right now it feels great and i'm using those key binds for now okay on here in the settings we have error speed 2 error size 1.35 lane offset zero and h offset zero also i don't i don't mess up with those settings right here and i think that's it i think that's pretty much it that's all the settings i got here and i hope it helps you you know like there's a bunch of settings that are personal but i think overall if you want to improve the performance of the game and you know set up for for your game to look like mine on live streams and videos that's it that's pretty much it and I hope this video helped you guys with, you know, Roblox performance and Funky Friday. And yeah, have fun. Peace.